Good evening. Welcome to this devotional for Maundy Thursday, when we would normally be at church to celebrate Jesus' Last Supper and the washing of the feet tonight. Instead, we'll be reading from the Psalms that would be normally sung at a Passover meal as Jesus was celebrating that. And then also the solemn reproaches that are part of the Good Friday service. And so by sharing these uh, scriptures and liturgical <laughs> words, we are actually more with Jesus at Gethsemane. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. When Jesus and his disciples had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Psalm 114. Hallelujah! When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange speech, Judah became God's sanctuary, and Israel God's dominion. The sea beheld it and fled. Jordan turned and went back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turned back? You mountains that you skipped like rams, and you little hills like young sheep. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the hard rock into a pool of water and flintstone into a flowing stream. We pray. Mighty God, by your power, you led your people out of slavery in Egypt and raised Christ from the dead. Deliver us continually by your power from slavery to freedom and from death to life. For the glory of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Psalm 115. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, because of your steadfast love and faithfulness. Why should the nation say, where then is their God? Our God is in heaven. Whatever God wills, God does. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes they have, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Noses, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel. Feet, but they cannot walk. They make no sound with their throat. Those who make them are like them, and so are all who put their trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord, who is your help and your shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord, who is your help and your shield. You that fear the Lord, Trust in the Lord, who is your help and your shield. The Lord has been mindful of us and will bless us. The Lord will bless the house of Israel and the house of Aaron. Those who fear the Lord will be blessed, both small and great together. May the Lord increase you more and more, you and your children after you. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord but the earth God entrusted to its peoples. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor all those who go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth forevermore. Hallelujah. We pray. Lord God, creator and ruler of the universe, you have entrusted the care of the earth to its peoples. Grant that your children surrounded by signs of your presence, may live continually in Christ, praising you through him and with him, now and forever. Amen. The Solemn appro Reproaches O oh my people, O oh my church, what have I done to you? How have I offended you? Answer me. I led you out of slavery into freedom 
and delivered you through the waters of rebirth, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. Forty years I led you through the desert, feeding you with manna on the way. I saved you from the time of trial and gave you my body, the bread of heaven. But you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I led you on your way in a pillar of cloud and fire, but you led me to the judgment hall of Pilate. I guided you by the light of the Holy Spirit, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I planted you as my fairest, vi fairest vineyard, but you brought forth bitter fruit. I made you branches of the vine and never left your side, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I poured out saving water from the rock, but you gave me vinegar to drink. I poured out my life and gave you the new covenant in my blood, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I gave you a royal scepter, but you gave me a crown of thorns. I gave you the kingdom and crowned you with eternal life, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Psalm 116. I love the Lord who has heard my voice and listened to my supplication, for the Lord has given ear to me whenever I called. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came upon me. I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray you, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the innocent. I was brought low and God saved me. Turn again to your rest, O my soul. For the Lord has dealt well with you. For you have rescued my life from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I believed, even when I said, I am greatly afflicted. In my distress I said, no one can be trusted. How shall I repay the Lord for all the good things God has done for me? I will lift the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all God's people. Precious in your sight, O Lord, is the death of your servants. O Lord, truly I am your servant. I am your servant, the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all God's people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. We pray. God of mercy and compassion, through the passion and resurrection of your Son, you have freed us from the bonds of sin and death. Be with us on our pilgrimage, that we may offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving, fulfill our vows, and glorify you in the presence of all your people. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. 
Psalm 117. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Extol God, all you peoples. For great is God's steadfast love toward us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Hallelujah. We pray. Lord God, you have revealed your kindness to every people and nation. Gather the whole world to yourself, that in all the various languages of the earth, one hymn of praise may rise to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The reproaches. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I struck down your enemies, but you struck my head with a reed. I gave you my peace, but you draw the sword in my name, and you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I opened the waters to lead you to the promised land, but you opened my side with a spear. I washed your feet as a sign of my love, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I lifted you up to the heights, but you lifted me high on a cross. I raised you from death and prepared for you the tree of life, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I grafted you into my people Israel, but you made them scapegoats for your own guilt, and you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I came to you in the least of your brothers and sisters, but I was hungry, and you gave me no food, thirsty, and you gave me no drink, a stranger, and you did not welcome me, naked, and you did not clothe me, sick and in prison, and you did not visit me, and you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let Israel now declare, God's mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron declare, God's mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord declare, God's mercy endures forever. In distress I called to the Lord, who answered by setting me free. The Lord is with me. I shall not fear. What can anyone do to me? The Lord is with me as my helper. I will look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in mortals. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in rulers. All the nations surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I drove them off. They surrounded me. Indeed, they surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I drove them off. They surrounded me like bees and blazed like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I drove them off. I was pressed and pressed to the point of falling, but the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. Shouts of rejoicing and salvation echo in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord acts valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord acts valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. 
The Lord indeed punished me sorely, but did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. Here the righteous may enter. I give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and you have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna, O Lord, save us. We pray to you, Lord, prosper our days. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. Form a procession with branches up to the corners of the altar. You are my God and I will thank you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord for the Lord is good. God's mercy endures forever. So we pray. Holy and mighty God, your son's triumph over sin and death has opened forever the gate of eternal life. Save us, we pray, when we are in distress, pressed to the point of falling. Let the joy of your salvation resound through your church and in our lives. And let the whole creation reflect the brilliant light of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior and Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins where we have done wrong and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. We end this day as we began it, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God's peace to you tonight. Have a blessed uh, Good Friday.